Welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Andrew Ntabo. The aim of this channel is to educate the viewers on various issues that affect us in our society. Please like, share, subscribe and comment below and turn your post notifications bell if you want to get more of my videos. This week, uh, or rather today, we are going to discuss uh, on the subject of racism in America. I know there are different types of racism, but um, my concentration will be on racial pre uh, prejudice and injustice. Now, a few weeks ago, uh, the world was shocked to hear that a black American man called George Floyd was brutally killed by a white police officer. Because of the pressure of the knee placed on the neck of George Floyd, he shouted, I can't breathe. And this caused uh, chaos in, in the world all over, especially in America. And, protest, and, and, and protesters came uh, all over the street. They poured into the streets shouting, Black Lives Matter. Now, this killing was unacceptable in many ways, especially considering the times and the age we are living in. Now, one civil rights uh, activist called Reverend Al Sharpton, during the burial of George Floyd, uh, mentioned or commented or said very um, crucial things. And he mentioned and said, George Floyd did not die a natural death. He died because of the American criminal, uh, uh, American criminal justice malfunction. And he mentioned uh, the Bible from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Now, two years ago, the same reverend, uh, the same civil rights activist, was interviewed in the UK in a show called Good Morning Britain. And he lamented then that uh, three black churches were burnt in the state of Louisiana. And that was two years ago. And he also said, if we, uh, uh, if we um, accept racism or if we entertain racism, then we are racist. So in other words, what uh, the activist was um, conveying was, he said, we must speak out. Racism must be spoken out, must be dealt with accordingly. Now, throughout their entire history, African Americans have created themselves. They have done so in the context of inequality uh, and brutality characterized by the sale of human beings, by massive rapes and executions. Those captured from Africa were not people without history and culture. We are talking about our fathers, our mothers, our sons and daughters. Now, throughout their history again, African Americans have nurtured and renewed their emerging community by uh, creating and maintaining uh, cultural identities and building viable institutions to provide goods and services um, and, and, cultural and, education, and, and cultural and educational sustenance. Now, the big question is, is it possible that black people in America or elsewhere will find freedom and still uh, maintain their, 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 uh, their identity as a people. So my final thoughts. It doesn't matter the type of racism we are encountering. It should be condemned with the strongest terms possible. We all have a responsibility to ensure justice and equality are preserved uh, and practiced world over. Love should, be the, the, love should be the one virtue that uh, we all practice. And finally, we must collectively deal with this matter. And not because some of our friends and family are there, but because we value human life. Please like, subscribe and share and comment below and turn your post notifications bell if you want to get uh, more of my videos. Thank you very much.